So we've got out of the house today because we're going to partake in a bit of Kirsty's bargain shopping. I was going to say favourite pastime, bargain shopping. No children either, you can see that's really No, quiet. the car has been vacated. It's quiet in the back. So uh, we're going to be checking out uh, home bargains and B&M because they're next door to each other where well, we are. not quite. Well, next door, but a couple of shops. Nowhere near next door, that is not true. <sighs> Facts. Facts. Okay. <laughs> They're in short order. They're in, they're in close proximity to one another. So we're going to be going in both and seeing, because um, I love a shop like this, because you sometimes have like weird things in as well. I like the weird stuff. You're there for the bargains, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So where do you want to start off first? Where do you want to go to we'll first? We'll go to B&M because uh, I've not been in there for quite a while. So good, good to see what they've got. We're starting in B&M. Kirsty's in a natural habitat now. I love bargain hunting. Bargain hunting. These are my favourite shops, I think. What are these I like? I don't really shop. I like all the weird stuff you can find shop. in them. I don't shop in shops very often. But you like shop online shops. kind of a lot. Yeah. That's right, so Kirsty just found these that, that she gets. I love these. I really love these. <laughs> They're just so They've recently flavorful. They're, <laughs> They're flavorful, but what do we call them these days? Skinny chip. Skinny chip. Because, because they used to be 99 calories and now they're 80. Yeah, because they made them smaller but kept them the same price. But how is that price wise? Well, they used to be a pound anyway when they were 99 calories. Skinny chipped. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is all the weird stuff. Cinnamon churros. Curiously cinnamon. And the American ones. Cinnamon yeah, sauce crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's quite a big difference in price. There is. You can tell that they're imported four pounds, but you also know that they're going to be really sugary. I was going to say really good, but yeah, sugary. Yeah, sugary probably. Good. Also, pretty excited. Oh, don't. Captain Crunch. Don't tell I, we saw those. I'm not paying that much for them. Yeah, they're uh, a little bit on the pricey side. No. Excitement. Yeah, I've got a bit of a, an addiction, I think, to <laughs> Lotus Biscuit. Yeah, Kirsty's got like a six biscuit a day habit. Yeah, this is quite, that's quite good value. Because they're extra large, oh, extra large biscuits. When did that work? When was that thing? That is. Does that mean you're going to eat half as many though? No. No, it just it means bonus biscuits. <laughs> oh, is it marshmallow? There was, there was some excitement oh, no. there. What flavour have you got? Coconut macaroon hobnob. I'll have to try these. You love I love coconut as well. Love these as well. Coconut rings? No. 65p? No, no so that's a hard no. It's chocolate and coconut. That's How much are they? 149. 149. I don't normally pay that much for biscuits, but if it's got coconut in, I'll, I'll you, make you an could, exception. You, you could be persuaded. I'll make an exception. Fair enough. I've got to try those. Are we taking those? Yeah, I've got to try those. I'm wondering why I don't do my weekly shopping here. We've had to leave like the confectionery yeah. aisle because there was so much stuff in there. Timeouts. You never see a timeout in Asda or Tesco. Yeah, see, look at the. Oh my. Have you seen the price of a regular Pepsi these days? £2.25. Mm -hmm. Oof. That's the same price as Tesco's basically at the moment. It's on offer in Tesco's. See, I'm not a big fizzy drink drinker. I mainly drink um, flavoured water or juice. <laughs> Wine. No, I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> no, you don't drink. Don't you drink really don't, wine, do you? I don't really like a lot of fizzy drinks. But See, I like a fizzy drink, but it's becoming kind of expensive, isn't it? I'm drawn to this. It's a bum mask. Never heard of a bum mask. I was just going to ask you. Do you know what a bum what mask does it is? Do? Uh, masks you, you, you well, bottom. It makes your bum appear more. Yeah. I'm wondering why it's down the alcohol aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is it down the booze aisle? Yeah, it's a strange one. <laughs> I just had to be dragged away from the walnut whips as well. Yeah, no, 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 we're not getting walnut whips today. Um, I do like a cleaning aisle as well. I've got a thing about things smelling. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that. I've never seen a vanished tub that big. <laughs> At that price. So tell me you're a parent without telling me you're a parent. I mean, I, the stains Excite, in our house. Excited about tubs of Isla rubbish. was eating, uh, what was she eating last night? She was eating her... Everything. What did we have? I can't remember. This is how bad my memory is right now. Um, what did we have for tea? We had something tomato-based. I remember that much. Oh, we had a mince, like a 
minced dish yeah. and it had a tomato sauce on it it was all over yeah. by the time she finished i don't know how she does Isla's it but gotta be probably she's got a the good, messiest eater going. yeah a good habit of uh just getting it everywhere she just thinks it's dead funny that she just throws the food but, all down her as well I'm so that's why this is enough vanish to last us probably what like a month. A, oh, yeah. I'll probably get through that in a month. <laughs> I was gonna say a week. I need to get one of those. Look at I've never seen one that size. That's what she said. Right, so all joking aside, it is actually a pretty good deal, isn't it? That? When you look at the price of these. Because there's the same stuff and it's eight fifty for one and a half kilos. But it's only eight ninety nine for two point one kilos. What's is this Do you remember you used to get that stuff in America? Coconut, coconut salt. Oh my God, did you hear the intake of breath because she heard coconut? That's I was, I thought this might be like the one we used to get in the States, in America. Yeah, I what think that one, no, that one had uh, vanilla in it. Oh, I just saw pink and thought, yes. Yeah, I'm quite excited by anything coconut flavoured. Just to be clear, you don't drink it? No. Kirsty just pointed this out, Kiora. I used to have that when I was a kid. I, I didn't even know they still made it. And this, this, I want to know that that actually does taste like drumsticks because I really love drumsticks. I think everybody it's does. It's just going to taste sweet, I think. Yeah, I'd be interested to know. Let's give it a miss. Yeah. Bless you. I was about to say, oh, please, God, no, we're down the soft furnishings aisle. We like a cushion. We like a cushion, we like a throw. And by we, I mean... Mainly you. Really you know, I've never really looked That's got like woodland stuff on it. You know what? Olivia would love this. Because she loves space, doesn't she? Oh, Olivia, yeah. Yeah. She'd love that one. That's actually a really yeah, I thought, nice well, look at this one. Like, like woodland. Yeah, I like the woodland. Woodland creatures. This one here as well. Oh, yeah, that's actually got the, the trees and stuff on it. That'd go quite nicely in Noah's room, well, wouldn't no, it? Actually, this one would. <laughs> it's like I've seen this one. No, this one. No, this one. I don't know. I don't. No, I, 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 I don't think I like that one. I think I prefer either this one, this one there, and there. Fifteen pounds. So what is it? That's a single duvet for fifteen pounds. Well, these ones are only seven though, so that's really good for for kids' bedding. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And this fairy one here, I like that. That's uh, fairy nice. Ha <laughs> ha. He's a silent night as well. Yeah, I think the thing is, it's um, obviously things are a little bit hit and miss aren't they? they kind of they come and go you know mm -hmm. and i guess that's why if it's a bargain you've got to be quick and pick it up because it's not going to be there probably next time you come in the downside to that is it is a little bit random but that's also what makes it fun right so we've just come down the electrical aisle and we found the um they've got quite a few air fryers in we like our air fryer don't we yeah um i wasn't sure at first i wasn't sure i was going to use it but we, we're I using it a bit now aren't we yeah because i find like doing like you know, chips to go with tea. Yeah. Um, I find it cooks a lot quicker. Yeah. Because they do take a while in the oven. Yeah, yeah. They always they're say they're going to the be effort. quicker than they are, but I always have to leave them in much longer. It saves they, a bit on the electricity as well. Yeah, and it? they do They do seem to cook, cook a bit quicker in there. But B&M have got this one here. It's normally 150 and they've got it for 99 at the moment. It's on an offer. And they'll notice they've got this one as well. The tea fowl, which is looks considerably it's smaller. But it's normally 188.99. It's 129 pounds. So if you're in the market for an air fryer, B and M's got plenty of air fryers. Or a rock speaker. Or a rock speaker. That's the sort of thing that appeals to me. You know. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that. Well, you've always talked about getting those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit of a messer when it comes to like electronics and stuff. I like uh, little gadgets and gizmos. And I do oh, fancy having here. outdoor speakers. Yeah, there's quite a few here actually. Yeah, that's a good point. We were here a few weeks ago and this was full of elect uh, oil filled radiators and things and now they've all made way for air coolers and dehumidifiers and fans and all these will be gone if we get any good weather this year, won't they? So. Yeah, um, the little things you didn't know that you need. Like what? Just... All these things? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's loads of stuff that I definitely need down here and that wouldn't at all be impulse purchases like a mini waffle maker or... A cotton candy machine. I mean, we've already got one, but you know what I'm saying. Why Why have an ice bucket when you can have an ice bucket that's also yeah. a Bluetooth speaker with lights? I it's also amazing. spotted the omelette maker. Now, I do have an omelette maker. We do have an omelette maker. Um, and it's something I use a lot. 
You do, don't you? I still yeah. prefer to do in the frying pan or whatever, but and, you, you yeah, really I like it, don't you? I find it a lot easier. I just, I don't know, I'm not very good at flipping omelettes, so. Mm. I have it in a, in a thing like this. It's actually really, really helpful. And this is a Mo Farah branded one. Is it 15 yeah. pounds? Yeah, I think mine was about that, but I do actually use it. It's one of those things people go, why do you need an omelette maker? You can just stick it in a pan. I think it was me who said, why do we need an yeah. omelette maker? But it is actually easier and the girls tend to use it too so Ava started to make her own I've tried to show her how to do it and it's a bit easier so I don't have to do it and then one day if we teach her well she can do all the cooking and we can re we can retire <gasps> holy party speakers Batman look at the size of that For comparison there's Kirsty and it's almost it's half the height of Kirsty it's a giant party speaker there we go Things you didn't know you needed. Another one. £150 if you're interested. Right down the outdoorsy aisle now. Just looking at all the stuff they got. Like gonks and doggos and gnomes and ducks and small fairy houses for your garden. Ooh, an owl welcoming you in. And it's got lots of these uh, bamboo cart torch candle things actually. They might be quite good if you get like mozzies and things how much are those they're four pounds each decent selection of solar lights as well including this look at this it's 25 pounds kirsty's all the way down here she's already advanced I love this love grows here oh it's nice isn't it I like that. We can, we can. how much is that how much? five pound so for five pounds you can you grow your own love garden. They're just basically anything you could think of um, that they can put solar lights in, they're putting solar lights in. Actually, I was mocking that, but you'd view it like this and it would up light it at night and it might actually look quite nice. Pretty sure, did we have, Did we used to have one of these clocks or something very similar? Uh, in the old house, yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the old house, yeah, we did. I found a few elephants Noah would like as well. Found a few elephants. 50 pounds, what's it made out of? Solid myrrh? Stone effects. Stone effects, or plastic basically. It's, it's quite expensive that, I'm isn't not, it? I'm not sure I'm seeing 50 quid's worth of plastic there, I've got to be honest. Nice as it is. I need these. <laughs> this is what it's coming to when you get excited by gardening uh, gloves. Gardening gloves. I, I stung my hand the other day and it really hurt bad for like a day. And she didn't talk about it for the entire evening at all. So you want, you want a glove that's nettle proof. Well, you definitely don't. Mind you, they've got rubber on the inside, these yeah. bad boys, haven't no, they? They always think the nettles no, get, they get the they, back. They get you around the back. That's you how they get you. Entirely covered, I think. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Look at these as well. You could get some for Noah and Aubrey. That wouldn't at all be a hindrance in your gardening efforts. I think he'd enjoy Oh, you know what? He'd really enjoy that. With these. Although they're going to get stung out. They are. I think the trick is to have them like just pottering rather than like actually doing yeah. hard labour. <laughs> Give them a, let them pot a plant up or two. Ah, summer barbecue fire lighters. Actually, to be fair, have we got? See these fire logs. We use these fire logs, don't we? In our fire pit. And they've got like some outdoory plastic furniture for kids. So you've got chairs there, different colours there, a fiver. And then the little tables are ten pounds to go with them, so you can get a match. You know, I suppose you could contrast the different colours. I think this little deck chair looks quite cute as well. You're all right, Jane. Hey, well, I said it. Mm. Yeah, Noah, I said it. Yeah, she didn't get her overtime. How much is this? This is actually quite nice. I quite like that. Yeah, Noah. That's the last one. Is it the last one? It is. It's got a box. How much are they? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. It's on the box. One of us is a professional shopper. Squishmallow. Oh no, they did a pink one as well. They've, nice not, they've got none left. We're too slow, Kirsty. We'll come back again. We'll come back. We'll, we shall return. Okay, I think this says more about me than anything else, but I've just noticed this thing called Windy Bum. And it was £12 and now it's £5. And apparently, Aubrey finds breaking wind hilarious. And apparently that's exactly what these little cute things do. That's different, isn't it? Yeah, it's a kangaroo. It's a kangaroo. 
lots of soft toys, but those, if you're looking for a farting panda, five pounds. Found ourselves looking at toys now. This is a nice back toy for now, I like. Yeah, Kirsty spotted Shark this, looks. and you've been looking at something similar on Amazon. Now, it's, yeah. in fairness, not the same one, That's but they're about 15 quid on Amazon, and this is only six. It basically just catches the fish in the water. I think you'd love that. It's going to be the same one in it, but just branded yeah. different. More fishies. More frogs. We could do, get those as well. You can catch them all. That's why I need to work out. I'd be upselling everyone. Yeah, like Pokemon. Got to catch them all. It's a good job Noah's not here because, uh, yeah. at first of all, he'd be wearing this, running around the shop, and then he'd also hatching, he'd want he'd all these. of these. He'd be hatching this. Oh, that's, he'd love that. That yeah, he's, he, he likes he smashers, it. doesn't he? He's yeah. seen smashers and he uh, he kind of likes them. Fortunately, he's not here. <laughs> they love bubbles, don't they? <laughs> they do like bubbles, yeah. Like you can get a dinosaur that you push along that does bubbles. You can get a unicorn that you push along and does bubbles. Does bubbles. And these are squeezy ones. Squeezy bubbles. Oh, that'd be good for them. Yeah, because they're not great at blowing the bubbles, are they? Mm. Let's be honest. They like a bubble. Not great at blowing it. Usually ends up with somebody just ingesting bubble mixture, doesn't it, if they try and blow bubbles. I can't wait till they're out. I know, we just want to get them outside. Look at these. You've got, you've got buckets and spades here that they like. Ice cream? Is that a bucket and spade or is that just an... Yeah, you can make ice creams with them, I guess. Oh, like yeah. sand ice creams. They never had that when we were kids, did they? Really like you just Boy. got one of the you just got something like this but without all the goodies inside and you're happy with it i really like this that's only three pound fifty though to be fair that bucket in space yeah. they're a fiver the ice cream making ones i think that's that'd be great for aubrey that yeah she loves she loves making stuff for you yeah that'd keep her quiet probably all afternoon i love, I love it when um the enjoyment in her face when she's making food for you and she wants you to try it makes you an ice cream or something yeah oh i've just spotted you've probably seen it in the background there look the egg chair is back. Yeah. We have one of those in our back garden. I wonder how much it is now. Yeah. Let's investigate. Oh, right, on closer inspection, this is smaller than the one we got. And, it is, it? yeah, it is. Yeah, it is yeah. And it's 200 quid. Did we pay like 130 for ours or something? Yeah, that much. It was a few years ago, to be fair. But if you're looking for an egg chair, I don't know. That might be a good price. And they've got them and B&M. So we were just making our way out of B&M. We thought we were done. And they got you at the till, didn't they? Yeah, they got they got me buying some magic bubbles. Magic bubbles, because as we said, kids. Noah and Aubrey love a bubble, they don't do they? Love a bubble. They love a bubble. Right, so we'll drop our stuff off here, and now we need to go to Home Bargains to see what they've got. Yeah, um, I did go in there fairly recently because I got some uh, Easter stuff. That was a little while ago, though, wasn't it? So mm -hmm. I, I was quite, I was in quite early for the Easter stuff. So yeah, you got to get in there early if you want, like the um, like as this video goes out, it's um, it's it'll be too late for all that. Should we go to Home Bargains? Yeah, let's go. So literally, we're straight in the door. And they're hitting us, they're hitting us with pot noodles right out the gate. Yeah, eighty nine p. That's good because we were only commenting the other day how much they're, they're pounding. They're pounding Tesco's, aren't they? Yeah, and that well, our kids love a pot noodle, don't they? So. Love a pot noodle. Who doesn't? Oh, no, I, don't. I feel I feel like some people might not love a pot noodle. Just looking at bath stuff. Look at these. Do you like a bath salt? Look at all these bath salts they've got. Quite a lot of money off. Three pound twenty nine instead of nine pound ninety nine. I've ever really used. No, no. But if you do, if you like a Westland bath salt, three pound twenty nine. Oh yeah, Kirsty just pointed out this is a bit weird. Popcorn shower gel. Also, look, we've got Love Hearts flavoured shower gel as well. Smell it. Does it actually smell like popcorn? Um, yeah, it does have a vaguely familiar smell of popcorn. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I'd want to smell like popcorn. No, get out of the shower. Popcorn fresh. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Okay, just spotted these. These are quite cheap, aren't they? Fully plus for 99p. I feel like they're like, it's a Zara P199. Oh, there are only eight though. Ah, right. There are only eight tablets, nearly had us, that's these, how they have you. They always try and get these ones. 
Yeah, because they're 99p for 16 and they're quite they're basically the same, aren't they? Let's be honest. They always seem to be battling some kind of cold in our house with loads of little kids coming home from preschool with their um everything with them. The germs, yeah. Yeah. They love to share. So yeah, so Beecham's, yeah, not bad, but these are better. Okay, so as this scented candle don't as this video is going out, it probably is Easter Sunday, so happy Easter and all that. Ooh, but Easter candle. We're looking, we're smelling the Easter candles. White chocolate. It does actually smell like white chocolate. Nice smell? Yeah, I like it. £3.49. Right, down the seasonal aisle, Kirsty. Mm. Smells like fresh cut grass down there. It, it actually does. How have they done that? Nothing's really... Out. Nothing's jumping out at you. Oh, hang on. She says some, nothing's jumping out at her, but now she's spotted something. Yeah, a chimney. A chimney, yeah. We have got a fire pit already, though, haven't yeah, we? we have, yeah. Probably don't need a chimney, do we? But if you want a chimney, yeah, $69.99. Also, they've got a pretty wide array of solar lights as well for, what, anywhere from $2.99 each up to about $5.99 each. And there's this guy. These lunch boxes, three ninety nine. Totally awesome. You know a little, uh, little yeah. nowhere you might like that. Mm. I just spotted these bows as well for Aubrey. It yeah, it's getting us to keep them in a hair yeah, though. She always loses them, and I, I, I seem to buy them, and then they're gone again. Because mm. so, she pulls them out well, yeah, all the time. These are quite cheap, so um, I'm going to give these a go. See if we can keep them more than a week. Yeah. Right, so Home Bargains got Vanish as well. We were looking at this uh, in B&M, and this is actually cheaper here. It's pound cheaper for this size, but if you want the bigger size, which is this one, uh, B&M is actually less than sure 8 99 If they have crystal white, uh, We'd have to go back and double check, but I would definitely, you know, if there's two of these shops near each other, it might actually be less in uh, B&M, that one. But well, this, this size, Home Bargains for the win. So you were just saying this is where you got Noah's party supplies from, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, the, the great, great value. With the, um, the oh look at did, did we have did we have this? No, we didn't get that one. How come we didn't buy this? Mm. I think you would have liked that. I didn't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> They've got quite a few foil balloons, aren't they? These are kind of these are kind of similar price to Amazon though. Yeah, 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 in fairness, um, yeah. What the gift bags bargain. <laughs> gift bags are always a bargain. In um, home bargains. <laughs> <laughs> Gift bags are always a bargain in home bargains. Yeah. Yeah. They've got quite a few as well, haven't they? Yeah, they just 59p, so, uh, yeah. I, I feel like you can't get a gift bag for 59p these days. I know it's my pony, but yeah, they usually have. Yeah, but there's other like ones. more generic ones like just unicorns and stuff there, and they're only that, that unicorn bag, for example, 69 pence. Yeah, that, that is, I think I'd say that's a bargain. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, I found myself down the kids' toy aisle because I am, in fact, a big kid. They got loads of stuff. They got toy lawn mowers and star buys. They're eight ninety nine. You've got like lawn darts, eight ninety nine. Ooh, is that a swing ball? We just we threw for nineteen ninety nine. Swing ball light. Swing ball light. What's the difference? Different type of ball, maybe. Oh, oh wait, rubber ball. Ah, it's a rubber ball rather than a tennis ball. But I feel like we paid a lot more than nineteen ninety nine for the one we had. Yeah, definitely. It was about forty pounds, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I feel like it was definitely. A few people have been injured with that as well. Yeah, including me. Took a tennis ball right to the groin. Did you? It hurt. Yeah, it hurt a lot. Also got quite a few Nerf guns or Zuru X shots, I'd say. Down here, twenty nine ninety nine. That's been. This is gigantic. Forty four ninety nine. Fifteen pounds off. Plus quite a few of us to choose from. Also got kids ride ons, Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig. Twenty four ninety nine a piece. And then these Batman scooters as well, which are eighteen ninety nine, which looks like a good deal. What everybody needs is a plastic. I was just saying to you shark. before we came in, I could really do with a twenty inch rubber shark. And funnily enough, if you want one, they're a star buy, eight ninety nine. Every parent wants is another uh, tub of slime in the kitchen. Slime and foam. Or maybe not. Our kids, like, 
they actually love this stuff, don't they? Like they Maybe really, it's really love. Like yeah, no, we don't want it. Them. We don't want it. But the kids, the kids love that it though, don't they? Like I keep thinking they're over the slime things, and then they surprise me one day and say, "Yeah, it keeps slime? going out of fashion, and then just it's immediately just coming back. back into fashion, mm -hmm. doesn't it? I wish it'd stop because it's very messy. Spiderman, walkie talkies, sixteen ninety nine. Among us, among us all discounted now because nobody cares anymore. Let's be, let's be honest, apart from Noah, he's just got onto it. Another star by here, a little hand mixer. You fancy something like that? 19.99. Ooh, popcorn me. How did I miss the, How did I see the hand mixer and miss the popcorn maker? So you can smell like popcorn and make it at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah. You can go for the full... <gasps> chocolate fountains. Candy floss maker. I've got one of these already. Don't need another one of those. You don't and have a turkey baster though. Also a turkey baster. I can put that back. Yeah. I think the less said about the turkey baster the better really. Right, Casey's just uh, alerted me that there are star buys on the um what are they called? Scampy fries. Scampy fries. They just they remind me of childhood though. Yeah, scampy fries and bacon fries. They're one pound uh, one pound fifty. Yeah. As opposed to two pound eighty nine for six packs. If you're interested. Right, I sometimes like the snacks and drinks in home bargains and uh, and Sunny B &M because oh, it's Sun, Sunny D. Because Thanks. I was just I was just about to say you sometimes get weird stuff. Ock, jelly belly, berry cherry. Try and say jelly belly, berry cherry. <laughs> You're not gonna buy it. No, I don't feel like I'm being wild in here. No. What's going on? I'm not feeling excited. No, not at all. We spent a total of just under eight quid in own bargains for... Yeah, a couple of bits. A couple of bits. A couple of essentials. <laughs> so we didn't just feel like total frauds walking around there filming. Yep, so now it's home time. Go and pick the kids up from school. Yeah. <laughs>